Hey guys, how's it going? The Haggard Nerd here. Welcome back to Astroneer. Last episode, we tried out a new thing. We, we tried having longer extended episodes, and we are going to continue with that now. If you guys enjoy these, let me know. Uh, it, I find that it lets me <laughs> get more done in an episode and uh, not be so kind of chaotic, I guess. Kind of just back and forth, meandering around, just doing random stuff. So, uh, this episode... Well, actually, last episode, we got our spaceship technology, thanks to our shuttle that we hopped over to Baron. Yeah, hey, Baron. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we, we managed to get our spaceship technology, so this episode, what we're going to do is focus, uh, focus on using our words properly. <laughs> we're going to focus on getting a spaceship, and uh, let's see here. What does that require? Yeah, spaceship. Oh, crazy camera. Crazy, crazy camera. Okay. Didn't need that. Got it anyway, it seems. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit my fuel condensers. So that way we can get that going. So I need lots of fuel to fuel the spaceship. And I want to be able to take a little bit of extra fuel with me too. So that way we don't get stuck somewhere. Alright, so that requires four things of copper and backpack space. <laughs> so I'm just going to put these down here. What was that? No, oh, something beeped. I don't know what it was. Oh, okay, kind of, kind of <laughs> lost track of what I was doing there for a second. So I need copper. I need plenty of copper. All the copper. Thank you. Now, question is, do we have? I think we have the habitat research. I really think we do, but I want to double check. Because I, I don't want to... Well, obviously, we can't start building a new base unless we have that technology. Hello, spaceship. Oh, yeah. Now, let's check what we have available to us. I never did make my outer ring <laughs> build on, on this uh, this base. But, you know, this is fine. This is fine for now. Okay, winch. Yay, winch. Solar panel storage, wind turbine, drill head, battery generator, habitat, habitat. There we go. And it only requires two compound. That's pretty spectacular. Now, I'm not going to do this just yet. I'm just making it because I know we're going to need it soon. And I'm probably just going to tack this onto the side. of the vehicle bay, just so it's there. And then what I need, I don't want it right there. That's kind of a weird way to put it. Storage, storage. We do need storage. And that requires a crap ton of compound. Do I have more coal? I do have more coal and I am going to send that up. Cause it's not, it is not hydrazine. I'm not sending up hydrazine. And we have no real use for coal. I mean, I know it gives you power and stuff, but, uh, <laughs> it's not hydrazine. I'm not cheating. I'm keeping my word. That's exactly what's happening. All right, let's go ahead and do storage. There we go. Wait for it to recharge. And then we'll uh, think about getting a seat there. I mean, I think, if I'm not mistaken, you can actually use the habitat as a seat. Could be wrong. Nope, you can indeed pilot it with the habitat. But that's going to get me stuck. If I don't have a seat, <laughs> it's going to get me stuck. I don't want to get stuck. Yay, compound. Alright, let's see what else is needed. I don't want the uh, the seat to be there. There we go, that's how I want it. And luckily it needs compound, so handy that. So I think for this, I, th I think what I want to do for this trip is I want to I want to I want to leave all these open I want to fuel my spaceship 
I want to leave all these open so we can hop over to Baron or Exotic if it happens to be handy or uh, within range, I guess. And then uh, from there, I can grab all the unknown research I can carry, bring it back, research it, and then we should have pretty much everything on the tech tree uh, researched. And then we can focus on more just building stuff. So let's go ahead and get a few more of these. This fuel is handy. Very important. Oh, there's one sitting right here. Okay, come on. Right here is what I'm trying to do. Nope, that's not what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do. Hmm, okay. So here comes the fun part of sitting through and just feeding it one by one. By one. Guess that makes more sense to flip around like that. It's not bad. It's not full, but it's not bad. Okay, let's go ahead and grab these. I think this should be enough just to hop around and do what we need to do. Um, easy? It's not quite. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that should be plenty. Okay. You know what? Let's, uh... Let's see what's in range. I wish there was kind of like a map. Ooh, there's something. Oh, it's a cloud. <laughs> Alright. Why is that... <laughs> That's connected to the other side. That's very weird. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's go back out and get some more unknown research. down upon our home planet. Looks like that one's about to come in, but that is a very dangerous planet. But it is coming in range. I, I haven't really spent a lot of time on Arid. I know it's dangerous, and there's also Toxic, I think. Is that Toxic? I think that's what it's called. Uh, you know, let's, let's hop, hop over to Arid and see what dangerous radiated. That's it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really... Really checked out Arid. This may be a hop over, check it out, and get back immediately kind of deal. And then again, it may be like, ooh, lots and lots of awesome unknown research. Alright, I'm trying to be quick here because I don't want to miss my window of opportunity to get back to Terran quickly. So this is just going to be a hop in, hop out. There's nothing immediately accessible, I guess. It's a very, very arid looking planet. Oh, hello, spitters. Are you the same kind of spitters as on here? It looks like you might be. Indeed, it looks like you are. What is that? I would need a crane. What is. Oh, that's, um, titanium. Don't really need titanium right now. Oh, there's all kinds of titanium up here. Ooh, ooh, uh oh, what? Whoa, whoa, what was that? I hear a storm. I hear a storm. I hear a storm. We're gonna hurry back. Oh gosh, it came like real quick. Oh no, am I gonna die? Am I gonna die here? Is this how it ends? Oh no. Oh come on, you can make it. You can make it. Oh god, no, 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 so close. I am so close. I am so close. So close. So close. No! <laughs> oh man, okay, okay. Well at least I spawned here and not back. Not back at the other location. Uh, ooh, no, I want that. I want that. Oh, wait, I'm underneath. Wow, that was almost bad. I almost died twice. And I got out again. <laughs> Alright. Uh, the red things are there. So I got hit, but I managed to, I guess, jump into the pod quickly enough to um, 
not die? I don't know how that works. But man, storms do roll quick on Irid. Alright, so did I die a second time? Is that... Is my death inevitable? Am I only prolonging what little bit I have left? Nope, I'm good. Sweet. Alright, so, do I have everything I had? I do. I'm gonna grab some of that laterite. Because, you know, explodey stuff. I guess I probably should have brought at least one thing of um, storage. We'll go back to Terran, I will. Ooh, yeah, we're, we are full. Full, indeed. When we go back to Terran, I will grab one more. Or one thing of storage, so that way we'll have it. And then that'll leave four slots open for unknown research. Okay, I just put that somewhere. I don't know where I put that. Okay. A little bit of laterite. Okay, I'm going to do one more quick look around to see if there's anything immediately handy. Oh, there's like mountains or something over in the distance. It's more ladder. Oh, there's so much ladder right around here. Oh! Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Where are those coming from? What are those? Oh god. Um, I feel like maybe, maybe I should, uh, GTFO. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, GTFO is in the immediate plans. Alright, yeah. Uh, t until next time, Arid. <laughs> until I can bring a full suit of body armor. <laughs> we got a little bit of laterite and uh, experienced some interesting death things. That was a uh, learning experience. Okay. So now we have... Ooh, all kinds of stuff available. Was that tundra? Tundra it is. Tundra. Where is exotic? It's way back there. Okay. Stop over to Tundra, I mean, why not continue this interesting exploration? We have plenty of fuel. And the more planets we can kind of check out, the more uh, unknown research we may be able to get to. Okay, I'm just going to kind of pick a place. Hydrazine. That's, that'll be handy. Hopefully nothing's immediately going to try to kill me here. Wow, this place is crazy looking. Okay, let's go ahead and pick this up because we can. Yeah, I know. Maybe one more. Okay, maybe not one more. I'm wondering if these uh, columns here have unknown research under them. And if so, do they have the awesome kind? And by awesome, I mean I've not found it before kind. Um, I don't know, but I'll take one or two just in case. Don't need organic stuff. I'm just going to kind of run around here a little bit. Ooh. Hello, cave. Tundra cave. With all kinds of life. Ooh, am I being spat at? I think those are spiky guys, so I want to try to avoid them. I want to try to avoid them. Um, yeah, I'm not going to run down here. Don't need to spend time down here. This is just a scouting kind of deal, so. A 
I'm putting hydrazine though. Oh wow. Look at that view. It's crazy. Man. Um, let's get back down and not die. I hear I keep hearing wind. It's like the natural ambient sound on this this planet here, but it's uh it's freaking me out a little bit because <laughs> the experience we had on Arid earlier. Okay. What about I see a big blue thing over there. No, we still have that. I'm trying to find different types of unknown research that uh, look different than the things I've picked up before. I guess that's kind of the point, right? Those I've picked up before. Okay, low on oxygen. Need to get back. Oh, it's getting green. This is crazy looking. Yep, yep, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Refuel here, or a oh, re-O2, I guess. And then maybe poke over in that cave over there. I get the feeling that I've missed my my launch window, but this is interesting. I'm not really spending a lot of time on Terran before. I don't, I don't know if I said that already. I think I did, but this is uh this is a unique experience for me. No, we've definitely found those before. But, I mean, I've already dug it up, so why not? Okay. I may take off and then re-land at a different location, because this is... This is an interesting area, but I don't know what to expect. I don't know if this is a populated area or not, in terms of just random stuff generation. I don't know where to set the benchmark, if that makes sense. Oops. Got stuck on something random there. I don't know what it was. Okay, let's get around here. Just kind of poke in here a little bit. Mm, a lot of spiky things. I think those are the spiky things, but I don't want to test to find out and almost fell down that. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's take off and find another location. Okay. Three, two, one, launch. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, it got green because that's the uh, the haze of the atmosphere. It's really cool, actually. Let's go over here. This is kind of white. I'm going to assume that's going to be like ice and snow. Oh, wow. Don't fall. Oh, man. That's... Okay. There we go. I am immediately going to make more of a landing area here. Okay, there we go. Not quite as dangerous. Oh, uh, look at that view. Okay, so this looks very similar to where it was in terms of generation. Hey, hey there's an unknown research over there. Okay, there's some resin. It's some of these kind of whatever plant things. Let's go check out see if there's anything there. And try not to <laughs> do the ankle thing. Ooh, ooh, easy, easy. I don't know if I'm imagining this or if the area is actually slicker, more slick, whatever. I mean, I guess it would make sense that it is. And I've not really done a lot in terms of finding unique research out this way. Hmm. It is cool looking, though. Literally. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I can feel the stink eye through the computer here. Okay, let's let's go back to Tyrion. We will come back to Tundra at another time. I mean, I believe we've already picked up all those, but I don't know if there's a difference in, you know, between the planets. If something looks one way on one planet versus another way on another planet, and it looks like we're screwed here. All right. Well, well, well. Okay, so I'm going to probably kind of cut real quick, and then when we have some sort of connection or when we're when we are in range to another planet i'll jump back in so i'll see you on the other side all right it looks like something's going to come into range very soon i don't think radiate it is but i think arid it definitely is so we're gonna have to do some jumping around hey there's an eclipse an eclipse <laughs> let me guess you can point your camera in any direction easily enough you get an eclipse as such. So yeah, let's uh, jump over to Arid. And then we're going to do some planet hopping to get back to Tun uh, Terran. Not Tundra. We were just not Tundra. Surprise it's not called Frozen. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. I got confused there for a moment. There's exotic I was trying to get to, but I'm full in terms of space on my ship. Now I'm trying to think. I mean, it would make no sense to jump over there and then jump over there and then jump back. I mean, this is going to be within range momentarily. So something funny I've noticed while we're waiting is uh, the size of the sun. <laughs> like, it goes away there. But you have to move all the way, like, if you imagine a singular point, it's like a singular point of light. This must be a very, very tiny, dense star. Like a neutron star or something. I mean, these things would all be obliterated if that was the case, but... Hey, maybe, maybe that's how it is. You know, the universe is a strange place. So we are coming within range of Terra now. I keep calling it Terra. It's Terran with an N. Terran. There we go. You know, it's a kind of a pretty shot right there. All the planets doing their orbital dance. Well, I mean, I guess as orbital as it gets in terms of this game. All right, where is home? Home should be coming around soon. It's probably where the clouds are. My uh, spaceship legs look all kind of funky. I wonder if that's normal. All right, home should be coming around any minute now. All right, this one we do want to shoot to land right at the home base. So we don't land on top of our other shuttle. Yeah, they do seem kind of all wonky looking, but I don't know. It's fine. All right, so we have some stuff. We have we have some stuff, guys. Stuff's good. What was there? Oh, it was my my thing of coal. All right, let's go ahead and take our ladder ride over, just to get that done. Put that there. I'm doing my juggle thing here. And it's faster to run without stuff in your hands than the alternative. Hence why I put things down and then reach for them. I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? Okay, let's drop stuff off here. So many, so many dynamite options coming up soon. Oh, 
All right. So far, so good. All right, let's uh, let's see what we got in terms of research. I mean, I'm thinking these are all going to be materials, resources rather than technologies, but well, we'll find out. One more. There we go. Well, these two are the same, so more than likely, at least one of those will be resources. Yeah, okay, so resin. Titanium. Oh yeah, I wonder, where's my truck? Here it is. I wonder if now that it's night, if it will use this power. We'll find out. This may be glitched. Lithium. Yeah, we can make another battery because we have an additional. Yeah, this is not being used. So, put it back on the truck for when we absolutely need it. In case it does work on the truck. And more resin. Resin's good. Resin dog's good. Make more stuff with resin. So let's put, let's put that there and then let's grab that. There you go. Oh yeah, I was saying, I think I want at least one more storage. Let's kind of drop that there. I want to put a storage thing on the, uh, the spaceship. So if we do come across more materials, we can pick them up. All right, I'm going to. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here, guys. Um, we we actually got some stuff accomplished. We we managed to make it out to a few planets and uh, check out some places and bring back some unknown research, just like we were hoping to. We didn't find the research we were looking for, but hey, we we did find something. So, uh, guys, as always, you know, let me know in the comments if you, if you like this or if you have any suggestions or comments or anything. I love hearing from you guys. As always, thanks for watching. Take care. <laughs>